the side and leave the ladder there until Adrian's finished his speech. And like, you can then take the, take the ladder away, it might just blow up anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Union Street, um, which is quite a, a, a sad occasion, really, because we're commemorating and remembering one of the worst episodes in, uh, in Tipton's history that happened exactly 100 years ago today. And uh, we have to apologise for the untidy state of the flag. I didn't realise that was going to be as difficult as it was to, to do that. And the other, the other unfortunate thing is that didn't quite go to plan is that we were hoping, after the unveiling, to take you all over to the Conservative Club to lay on afternoon tea. That was the plan, but as you know, the Conservative Club was closed, so that we snookered with that, unfortunately. But um, if anybody fancies just having a chat after, some of us will be going to the Fountain Inn, Top of Oak Street, so uh, come and have a drink with us after in the Fountain, although there's nothing laid on, so have a drink anyway if you've uh, if you've got time you want to chat oh, yeah. chat a bit more about the uh, uh, about, about the Zeppelin raid. Uh, now before I introduce Adrian just uh, I just need to thank uh, Mr Bollinger uh, father and son here today because they have very generously sponsored the plaque for us and of course they've given permission to have the plaque on, on their building. Um, and furthermore, Phil has even put the plaque up himself uh, by his own hand, so it's his own handiwork. So we're really grateful to the uh, for that. So, um, I'm sure the next time, folks, you want a new dryer or a new cooker, <laughs> Phil will be only too pleased to, uh, to sort you out. Because it's, uh, I mean, apologies, he's a, he's a, a really important business in Tipton now, because we've lost so many businesses. But, uh, uh, safe to say that Bullinger is still still going strong with his uh, with his showroom here. So support him in the future if you can. <coughs> so uh, having said that, uh, we're very grateful to uh, to Adrian Bailey, our MP, for turning out again uh, today because he was at the library yesterday unveiling the memorial roll to the victims, and he's very generously uh, come out again to officially unveil uh, the plaque for us. So over to you, Adrian. Thanks very much, and actually, it's a huge privilege to come here today and carry out this particular uh, function, but before I actually do so, can I uh, reiterate what we've said for the Pulliger family for uh, uh, providing this back and uh, uh, giving us the, our agreement and, and installing it on their shop, because uh, I have always felt that when you go to these um, medieval towns that are big tourist attraction and see all these blue flags, you think, Actually, we've got just as interesting history in our area as well, but we haven't got so many plaques to actually commemorate it. And that leads me on to thanking all those who've done the research and the work in order to get this plaque, so that we can demonstrate that in Tipton as well, we have the most fascinating history. And fascinating and sad it is, because we are standing literally where 100 years ago today death and destruction visited Tipton in a way that nobody locally would have ever experienced before and many people would have ever have thought of because the Zeppelin raid of nine Zeppelins attacking Britain two of which attacked this particular area was probably the first mass bombing raid taken out over the country as a whole 
designed to inflict fear and to demoralize the British people who would think that Germany could strike anywhere and kill the civilian population. And Tipton was on the receiving end of two of these attacks. And these Zeppelins that came and visited destruction and death on this area dropped three bombs globally. And I rely upon Derek Nichols for his brilliant research on this. First, I understand, dropped just above there, in what was then the canal basin. The second dropped in the middle of the road. The council have just repaired it. And, then, <laughs> and the third, just over here, where these shops are now. So it's particularly appropriate that we have this plaque on this site. And if, like me, there are thousands of people who either driven or walked past this site before, completely unaware of its historical significance, that blue plaque will make a difference. It will bring home to everybody who comes here the sheer horror of this event, but also the historical significance of it, and the strength and resilience and community spirit, which is so often and for so long being demonstrated by Tiptonian. That's all I've got to say. I'll now unveil it, if I can do something from there. Right, big cheer when it comes off. Thank you very much Adrian and before we all go can I just um, as well as thanking Adrian again uh, remember Derek Nichols who's done, who's done so much work in uh, researching the whole uh, the whole issue because until Derek started his research we weren't even sure of the, the complete identity of all the all 14 victims but now we know them and um, uh, this isn't the end of the Zeppelin commemorations by the way because on Friday this Friday in Tipton Cemetery uh, there's another plaque going to be unveiled, which has been sponsored by Derek himself, uh, with all the names of the victims, and that will be unveiled at Tipton Cemetery at half past ten on uh, on Friday morning. And that, that's been done in conjunction with the friends of, uh, of Tipton Cemetery, who've organised the lovely stone for the plaque to, to go on, very near to the uh, the Pauper Memorial. And uh, also for the future, for the summer. Uh, Derek and Ian Bott are organising uh, a, a summer evening walkabout. Did you know about this? <laughs> <laughs> well, Ian Bott tells me uh, there's going to be a. We haven't got a date for this, but it'll probably be sometime in June. So keep an eye out for it. Uh, Derek and, and Ian are going to lead an historic walk around Tipton, showing, pointing out. All the, uh, the, where all the bombs drop, not just new, <coughs> but, but, uh, but further afield. So keep an eye out for that in, um, in, in June. And then um, also to tell you that the next Tipton Civic Society event is on Tuesday the 16th of February in St Martin's and St Paul's Church, where we're doing the presentations uh, of cheques for the, uh, the charities for the money raised by the uh, Tree of Light Bill. So please come along to St Martin's Falls Church on, uh, on the 16th of February, that's at, uh, at 7 o'clock. And then very finally, uh, for those of you who weren't at the library yesterday, we produced um, a booklet on the history of the Zeppelin raid in Tipton, which um, uh, rese again researched by Derek. Uh, and published by Chris Smith here, who you probably know as the, the man behind Village Voice. So these are just two pounds. These are. So if you're interested, uh, uh, Chris will uh, Chris will sell you one of those this afternoon. So thanks again, everybody, and thanks very much to to Adrian again. Yeah. And see you in the fountain in a few minutes if you fancy a yeah. carry on chatting to us.